important thing that you got to remember when you're doing the underpainting uh, don't cover it up don't cover that beauty of the underpainting up with the usual kind of painting on top leave the underpainting showing through okay let's see go some more good and then you can actually even put some uh, positive branches on there as well within the we, I know we did positive branches on the outside right here like that so on but you can do it on the inside as well like for instance this tells me that there could be a branch doing something like that okay and so that now, for instance, here I need to have a little bit more of a, a push. I call it a pushback. So what I'm doing, I'm putting a little bit of sky-like color right in there, picking up that color, and so it gives the feeling of it that it's pushing back and, re and creating then that foreground tree. Then you could very easily, with some very darks, as we did earlier, with some very darks come in and do some outlining and texturing and all that kind of stuff that's that that you can do with a dry brush and watch out though don't overdo that only do it kind of basically at your major tree which I think this is the major tree I think that at this moment <laughs> and um, if that is too light in comparison to that, tone it down a bit. Doesn't take much to just kind of take a little thing. It's so easy to destroy a light, and it's so hard to get a light reestablished in watercolor. But anyway, this gives you an idea of negative painting and uh, the fun you can have just doing that. But I really recommend that you do some of those pattern sketches um, as well. Let's look at this in a mat. You see, you can have fun. It, it, it holds together well. There's a lot of liveliness. We are, um, we are unified in color. And uh, I think what we've done now, we've, we've from in chapter one, we've uh, learned how to do a pattern sketch. In chapter two, we've learned how to do the underpainting. In chapter three, put them all together. And then in this one, we listen to the paper a little bit more and learn how to paint negatively. Next, I think we're going to have some final thoughts and that will end this presentation, which has certainly been a lot of fun for me and stick around. <music>